What's going on guys, we're having a great day today and today we are about to talk about the latest Netflix anime film coming from director Mari Okada titled Mabaroshi. Before I get into my thoughts I want to hear from you guys so head on down to the comment section below, let me know what you thought of this film if you've seen it and while you're there please do leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're a fan of anime and Japanese gaming content and we'll see plenty more videos like this in the future. Ever since seeing the trailer for this film when it had a much longer title and was about to release in Japan I was very interested in it. Coming from a director like Mario Okada who's behind Maki I believe is the film which I personally haven't seen but heard a lot of good things about it and apparently it's a very emotional kind of film as well. I was excited for this. It looked great, coming from a studio like Mapper as well, who of course, they always put out high quality productions. Add to that, you just have a very interesting premise, and this was a film that I was keeping my eye on and very excited for it to eventually release over here. It did indeed get bought out by Netflix, they got the rights to it, and it released here, I believe January 15th or somewhere around then of this year, so it's been out for almost a month now, and I am finally getting to talk about it. And I gotta be honest, I really don't know how to feel about this film. Conceptually, it is fantastic, with this town essentially frozen in time, where they're not allowed to have major changes in emotion or routine, so that whenever they do get out of this, like, stuck time loop thing that they're in, everything will continue as it normally would. In many ways, it is a metaphor for that small town entrapment where you don't feel like you're able to flourish as a person, move on to bigger and better things because you are stuck in this small town where things are almost always the same, you know everyone, everyone knows you, and you kind of get into this routine of everything. You want to break out of that and explore the wider world. And I do think that idea is explored pretty well in terms of the small town entrapment and the metaphor of that. But when it comes to the relationships, the actual plot aspects of this film in terms of this not able to have these extreme emotions, not able to fall in love with people. I think that's where it falls a little bit short. Don't get me wrong, it does have its fair share of effective moments, but for a film that, in concept, is incredible and had the real potential to be one of the all-time great anime films, at least in terms of modern day, in my opinion, it's a little bit disappointing when it doesn't quite reach those heights. And I think for me, the biggest problem was that the setup of this main romantic relationship is not very good. Now, the actual romantic relationship itself and the whole idea of it isn't bad, but the initial setup of it with these two characters who just seem to dislike each other I never really felt like there was that proper connection there. I don't feel like there was much of a turning point for them to fall in love. And that's what I need to be able to actually engage with a romantic relationship like that. I do think the film also falls into the trappings of generic plot motions, at least in terms of a romantic anime film where you can kind of tell the steps that they're going to take. You can tell the general beats of like what the film will follow through with, the way that the relationships develop, whilst not as effective as other films follow those kind of same formulas. So you can tell generally what's going to happen. Of course, there are twists in there concerning characters and things like that. But the general formula and plotline uh, story beats of the film, I just found to be a little bit too generic and predictable. Like I mentioned earlier, this film is created by Mappa, who are one of the top studios working nowadays. Despite their pretty awful business practices, it's hard to deny that they create very good products. And it is exactly the same with Mabaroshi. Coming from this studio, coming from the people there working to create these incredible animations, they create another absolutely stunning film. There's a lot of creative visual ideas with this like town that's kind of breaking apart in terms of its time and also these weird smoke dragon things flying around. Like I said, a lot of creative ideas that are really, really well visualized on screen. So despite my issues on a storytelling level, when it comes to the production value of this film, I really don't have anything bad to say about it. So overall, whilst there is a hell of a lot that I really like about Maparoshi, even some ideas and some of the ways that those ideas are brought to screen, I actually love. There is also a lot that is not quite as good as what it could have been. It is far from a terrible film, despite the fact that some people have been giving it very low ratings, but it's also not an amazing film either. It kind of sits in the middle where there's a lot to love, there's also a lot to dislike, and then there's things to feel very much in the middle on. It is one of the most mixed bag films I have seen in recent years, but I would say there are maybe more positives than there are extreme negatives. So, certainly not a bad film, certainly not an amazing film, it is right in the middle, maybe bordering more on the positive side. So with all that in mind, I'm going to give Maburoshi a B. 
Before I get out of here though, please do leave a like on this video. Also subscribe if you're a fan of anime and Japanese gaming content and want to see plenty more videos like this in the future. Also, like I said earlier, head on down to the comment section below. Let me know what you thought of Mabaroshi. What do you think of some of the twists in the film? What do you think of the visuals? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you kind of dislike it? Where do you sit uh, within the range of thoughts and opinions and rating scale, if you will, on Mabaroshi? As always, thank you so much for tuning into WebChat today. I'll see you guys next time.